Rejoice! Rejoice! For everything is kind of fixed. So, as you can see, we're not leaving off quite where... Uh, we're not starting quite where we left off last episode. I think it was like something like the 21st of October, 1938. Rom Romania took a little uh, bit longer to conquer. What I did was, I'm so glad I kept the save. I loaded back to July of 1938, where we still had all of our national spirits, the Nationalist Birth Act, as well as Italian militarism. What I did was, I used our ideas. Now Italo Balbo is once again our head of government. Oh, we've got Alessandro Pavolini, uh, Domenico... Uh, Gian Pietro, as well as Dino Alfieri, those are all back, we don't have all those uh, monarchist um, ministers. I tell you what, there's not many things that I dislike about Kaiser Redux, I dislike that it's slow, but that's because there's so much goddamn content. Um, it's a hell of a lot better than Kaiser but th that whole uh, thing there, where, where Messi was like, uh, you know, the only request I have is that you make, you know, the king, the king again. Like, I was like, okay, but then we trans, like, we completely just lost everything, we went to, uh, Absolute monarchy, paternal autocracy, like we have somehow, for some reason, had access to this tree, the Republic survives. Because all we need for that is a democratic and elective government. Despite, like, it, it's just weird because A, Messi didn't, um, you know, let's say, <laughs> Messi didn't get the, Messi didn't get into empower himself by holding elections. He marched and he, you know, effectively declared himself the leader. But, um, in addition to that, we didn't hold, you know, say a referendum on... Um, on the king becoming the king again, so, like, it's neither democratic nor elected. Um, that's certainly not the, the bourgeois definition of uh, democratic. But for some reason we had access to that. And we do have access to this as, as, as well as we should. But, um, and we also wouldn't have access to, uh, to the rest of this because, um, we were no longer national populist. So, that was just weird. But yeah, I went back. And, uh, obviously we'll be doing this tree. Uh, this one, two, three, four, five focuses. We'll also, of course, be getting to do the rest of this, because we are now not national populist. I do like that we've um, adopted the name of the Kingdom of Italy, though. Though I kind of would have preferred the Legionary Kingdom of Italy, kind of like how the Romanians have the Romanian Legionary Kingdom. I would have liked Legionary Kingdom. That would have been very cool. Um, but yeah, the king has far less power in, um, in this state, shall we say, than in our own timeline. Because let's, let's look at things as how they were before the unification. Uh, they had a slightly larger army, but the thing was that we had uh, men in training. To, and when we deployed those men, we would have had at least the same or more men than they would have had. We had a far larger industry, which uh, and, and we have a far larger population. Which means that we would have been able to continuously have a larger army than they would. Not to mention we were making geopolitical moves all across the... All across Europe. We, I believe we already had the Austrians, we already had the Czechs. Uh, and we were fighting in... Um, we were all yeah. We already had the Austrians, the Czechs, the Hungarians, and we were fighting. We had almost knocked out Serbia. Uh, they only had one province left, and uh, only one province left. And we were fighting in Romania. Like we were just leagues better than they were. So like they don't have the upper hand in negotiations at all. Like not even close. So um, yeah, I imagine the king is quite literally just a figurehead. I'd highly doubt if he even has the uh, the power to uh, dispose of Balbo. Much like um, or rather, unlike how. Uh, Vittorio Emanuele had the power to uh, depose Mussolini in our own timeline, so it's good that that, um, that he doesn't have that power. Oh yeah, the navy, I forgot to, uh, got the merge of the navies. Uh, I believe 120 ships or something. Yeah, there we are. Of course, we field almost three quarters of a million men. Um, and they're, they're decent, the Pariani's men are good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's lots of training that needs to go on, and it's just as well as December of 1938, we've got a while. And I do intend to to kind of do secondary conquests before we go for the French. I won't be going for the French straight away, let, let, let's let them grind out a bit on the Germans, you know. Uh, as soon as the uh, Cairo Pact goes for the Ottomans, I will be intervening on their behalf, you know, knocking out the Turks. We'll get the Turks in, we'll get the... Uh, then we'll probably fight a war almost immediately after that against the Cairo Pact. Um, we'll probably expand in the Middle East before we go for... Uh, more European adventures because we only have you know 32 military factories and oh yeah basically I decided that because the Italian army was the decisive factor in the Bulgarian victory in Greece that I gave Bulgaria um, some land I gave them Solon the uh, I believe it's described as the, the birthplace of Bulgarian revival and I gave them uh, Varia and we'll just uh, have Greece as a puppet yes um, Trad Gamer suggested that I should give Transylvania to the uh, Romanians but I don't know why we do that because 
The Hungarians didn't lose a war. The Romanians lost a war. Now, obviously, um, Romania lost, you know, Northern Transylvania in their own time, and despite not losing a war, you know, they lost Bessarabia without having to lose a war. You know, they lost uh, Debruza or, or Silistra without having to lose a war. So, but, you know, that, you know, I suppose condition doesn't have to be applied universally. But, yeah, we like I was saying, uh, you know, we fought side by side with the Hungarians against the Austrians. And uh, kind of like I was saying last episode, the Serbians are a natural enemy, or rather they were before we subjugated them, because of their pan-Yugoslavism, uh, pan which includes, of course, the, Dal the, the Dalmatian coast and Slovenia. The Bulgarians are the natural enemy of the Serbians, because the Serbians also want Macedonia and Pyrot. Um, so that makes the Bulgarians our natural ally. The Romanians are the natural enemy of the Bulgarians, because of the Bruges and Silistra. Um, so that makes them our natural enemy. Uh, because they're the, they're the natural enemy of our natural ally. And the Hungarians are the natural enemy of our natural enemy. Which makes them our national... Or not national. Natural ally. Uh, as long as they remember that, um, you know, you know we, we, we rule the Dalmatian coast. And it's never coming back to them ever. Um, but yeah, like I was saying to Trend Gamer as well. Like, they've got a lot of territory to make your eyes. So, they've got more than enough in their plates. Also, I'm sure you can see that... Uh, Red Hungary is gone. I uh, I put the national populist into power, but the lore behind that is that we uh, is that the national populist uh, party, st uh, uh, with the help of us, the Italians as well as the Austrians and the Czechs, staged a coup. Um, the coup was successful mostly because um, they probably have more support amongst the, uh, well, shall we say, the landed nobility, uh, the army, the people even um, than the uh, the Reds. And, and as you can see here, they go very red. Um, and funnily enough, uh, Natsakism is making a return. But of course, Bundle of Sticksism is uh, National Socialism, but it's small n, small s National Socialism. Obviously, National Socialism is, is an ideology, but uh, Fascism is itself a uh, a National Socialism, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, it's a Socialism of the Nation, whereas uh, National Socialism is also a Socialism of the Nation, but it's also a Socialism of the Race. Uh, Nordic, Germanic, Aryan, all that kind of stuff. Uh, of course... Fascism pays lip service, shall we say, to uh, pan-Latinism, kind of the Latin race, and uh, and more than lip service <laughs> to the uh, to the Roman Empire. But anyway, anyway, off we go. We'll sign. Well, I'm probably not even gonna bother because soon we'll have to release Greece. Um, yes, our next conquest. It, it's it's going to be the Ottomans. Yeah, it's going to be the Ottomans. But yeah, this is fantastic. We have all our uh, ministers back. We have another 5% continuing good here as well, that's, that's not great. But it's uh, it's what we had before, so we have Italian militarism back, Nationalist Birth Act, and we had uh, we got the Alpini. Um, just to show you what I did, uh, I followed pretty much the same thing. Standardized equipment revived the Alpini. And now I've done a Reclaim Italian Irredentist, so I'll just kind of read a couple of these. Um... Yeah, initiate resorgimento. For years, we've been waiting for the right time to strike against the syndicalist menace of the South, and now the time has finally come. Our men have been trained, our industry has been bolstered, and our will to reunite the nation burns brighter than ever for Italy. Gains annexed war goal against Italian Confederation. World tension increased by three. Of course, this bypassed once we annexed the Italian Confederation. Incorporate the South. After many years and a grueling... Oh, yeah, I've read this before, but yeah, that's what we just gained cores and everything there. Uh, reclaim Italian Redenta. While we may have taken back the south of Italy, we cannot stop and fully declare victory yet. Millions of Italians live outside of their homeland under the banners of a foreign government and in areas that are historically ours by right. We must be willing to press our claims and expand our borders to free our brothers and sisters. Political power plus 100. World tension increased by 3. Uh, Commune of France, Malta, French national state and two others gain hostile. Uh, who, are, who are the two others? The Swiss, maybe? Yeah, the Swiss. Who, who else would it be? Malta... Is it the Ottomans? Because of Libya? Yes, it is. It is indeed. Yeah, it's fine. And obviously the French national state because of uh, Corsica and uh, Tunisia. Now, um, yeah, I'll just read the Alpini one just in case. Uh, the equipment and training of our Alpine forces must not be neglected. Where warfare is difficult, we shall prove superior. Add the Alpini, which grants division organization plus 7%, division defense on core territory plus 7%, special forces capacity multiplier plus 10%, and special forces division training time minus 20%. Now, we have all these lovely options. So, uh, we'll do it on Leica. Yeah, there we are. That'll help with, uh, kind of, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, compliance, yes. Obviously, we won't be returning Hungarian lands. Uh, claim Libya. Hmm. 
Mm. I won't be doing Corsica. Oh, should we get? You're not. Are you in a war currently? You're not. I don't think. I mean, I probably actually. No, no. Do I? Maybe I do outnumber you. Maybe I do. Yeah, but I don't have access to uh, to, to to Tunisia yet because of the whole um, you know. How many? How many what, what's your navy like? Ha! Our navy's bigger. Suck it. Also, uh, now is a good time to start training the navy. Uh, repair priority high. Automatic split off. Naval. We still don't have an air force, but w with thirty factories, it's going to be a uh, thirty-two factories. It's going to be a while before we get an air force. Now, I'll just quickly check the recording, make sure all is well. Indeed, it is fantastic. Uh, whose border should we get on? Yeah, the Germans have Crete. Also, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, this. I want paratroopers. Full glory. Yeah. Actually, I want uh, I want uh, Marines as well. What was it, what was it, what's it called? Expand the San Marco Brigade. Huh, that's that's unique. Very cool. But fantastic. Fantastic. Um... Yeah, that's all fine. Actually, what I might do is bump up this cavalry template just to help with resistance oppression, you know. And uh, by helping with resistance oppression, help with compliance gain. Because I will be coring things eventually. But yeah, we're going after... Oh yeah, I put my uh, army on the uh, the Swiss border, yeah, because I'm going after them. Going after those uh, lovely Italians in Tosino. Now, Formazione. how wide is this? Right, we'll get you a new marshal. Uh, Pietro Bagnolia. Ah, Achilles Starach is here. Fantastic. Formazione. Uh, yeah, you go here. Oh, and we can attack from this side Formazione. as well. That's fantastic. That's really going to help. Uh, the Swiss don't stand a chance now if they uh, si, signore. if they reject our demands. Si, signore. All right, everyone redeploy. Yeah, the Romanians uh, threw up a better fight than um, than in the previous episode. I think we lost something like forty-seven thousand men knocking out the uh, knocking out the Serbians and Romanians. Yeah, they put up a good fight. Don't hear me right. Like uh, I was looking at it here. In the past twelve months, we've lost sixty thousand men. Uh, I don't know if that is December thirty-seven. That probably does include the Austrian war. Probably. Mm, let me check. Does that include the Austrian war? Oh, Jordan, or Jaden Smith chooses wrong. That's a funny video. Uh, what do we have here? No. November 3rd. Oh, nah. Maybe. Alright, it includes part of, the, uh, part of the Austrian War. I think we lost maybe about 30, 30 35,000, 40,000 men in the Austrian War here. If, if we go down far enough, we can see. Yeah, it includes part of the Austrian War, as you can see. But yeah, that includes uh, fighting the Serbs and fighting the Romanians and and the Greeks. So all of that territory for sixty thousand men, we'll, we'll we'll call it we'll call it a hundred thousand, just just to, maybe ninety thousand to square everything off. That's really really good. Now, sorry for the long intro. Uh, Pedro Bagnolio, logistics wizard, always nice. Attento. Yes, everyone's en route. Fantastic. Yes, fate of Greece. Liberate the kingdom of Greece, of course. You gotta liberate, liberate the kingdom. Who? Do, which one did we get? Ho oh, ho! Look at you. I don't think you're the king. Nice flag, though. Great flag. Uh, you have to be fully independent here. Sucks. Oh, but you do get to do this one. That's good. Yeah, you've got some focuses to do. Grand job. Who is in power here? You. Okay. Overhaul narrow gauge railways. Yeah, you don't. You're not going to be doing any anything slick, are you? All right. Uh, oh yes, and by the way, we uh, we uh, we put 149 millimeter artillery into production. Like. This is just insane. L look at this, right? Look at that. Look at this little World War One artillery piece. Right, right on, on, it's probably, it, it might not be World War One. It looks good for mountains, maybe. Look, we go from 75 
to 149mm artillery. Talk about a bit of a jump. Like, you know, there, there was nothing like the, you know, the uh, the 105mm German gun or the uh, the 107mm Soviet gun or Russian gun in this timeline. No, there was nothing in between. Uh. I get back to uh, excavation. Let's make sure we're, we're, uh, if we're trading for stuff that we're only buying for, from our puppets. Good, good. Now we'll get the navy into trading. So I'm guessing that we really, really need it. Also, can you manually lower. Uh... No, you can't. I don't like that at all. Uh, I wish you could you could repress the dockyards of your puppets because I really want to overhaul the Italian navy. Actually, you know what? N now is a good time. Now is a good time. I really need to figure out how to start overhauling the navy. I've done it before. I've done it in in, in a game of Kaiserreich as Russia. So what do we got? Actually, you know, I think if we yeah, it'll tell us if we if we go in here. Yeah. Okay. Deus Volt class. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Uh, escort cruisers. But I don't have a lot of naval experience. I need to get some naval experience. Uh, yeah, here we are. Navy High Command Focus Logistics. Naval experience gain plus 0 0.06 daily. Naval max range factor plus 5%. We've got achieved with the Navy. Navy focus, uh, decisive battle, naval experience gain plus 0 0.09 daily, capital ship, uh, capital ship. Oh, excuse me, capital ship attack plus, uh, capital ship attack, uh, capital ship attack and armor plus 10%, screen attack and defense plus 10%. Very nice. Chief of the Navy. I was wondering if Borghese would be here. <laughs> I guess not. Borghese actually does pop up in a, in a game of Evola, though. When you take Rome. I remember your name. Raphael de Courton. You were in the Red Flood game, weren't you? I believe you were. Yeah. Uh, which one of you are the higher rankers? Or the highest rank? I'd say I was going to go for a Raphael de Corton myself. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's the job. Uh, Raphael de Corton. Naval experience gain plus 0.12 daily. Naval AA attack plus 10%. Capital ship attack plus 10%. Capital ship armor plus 10% as well. Did I say shit again? I swear to God, I meant not to have said shit. We have a lot of uh, political power. Which is good, because I need to fill out the government. We should probably just get Balbo now. Yeah, Talo Balbo. Air, air experience gain plus 0.2 daily. That's really strong. Interception attack. Uh, air superiority attack. Interception defense. Air superiority defense. Interception agility. Air superiority agility. And air superiority. Oh, yeah. All of the, most of those are plus 3%. Air superiority is plus 10%. Yeah, that's really strong. We have aircraft now because we've been defeating people. Fantastic. We can get our, our first little aircraft out. Our first little air force, rather. Get this as well. Uh, bad weather penalty. Yeah. Air focus, all weather, air experience gain, plus 0 0.9 daily. Bad weather penalty, minus 20%. There we are. We're doing really well for ourselves, government-wise. Hmm. Ah, uh, we, 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 we finished mobilizing, have we? All right, that's fine, that's fine. We've still got another 2% to get from the uh, monarchist tree, though. And another, uh, another 2.5% from this whenever we want. Yeah. I'll be trying to hold off on that, though, so I don't have to get the uh, training time debuff. Filling up on artillery. Yes, we are. Lovely 149mm artillery pieces. Fantastic. Hey, signore. Yeah, we'll wait a while. Um, just to get some naval experience. Uh, so tell me. Like, if, let's say if I want to overhaul some escort cruisers. I need, really need to figure out how to do this. Uh, cruisers. Hang on, hang on. Uh, escort cruisers. Oh, what? I can't select them like that? That sucks. That's why was that a thing. 
Uh, I assume these are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, these are the cruisers. Retrofit. Refit. Refit ships. Alright, let's start decking out this, uh, this ship. Improved. Cruiser armor 2. Secondary battery 2. Cruiser engine 2. Radar 1. Ah, no! Ah, feck! Yeah, I gotta keep my hand off the escape key. I do that a lot. Uh, radar 1. Fire control system 0. A2. Yeah, I really need to grab that. Where is it? This thing here, isn't it? It doesn't take too long to research either. That's fine. Um, I did that one deliberately. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say just, yeah, just research that one. There we are. I'll find it researching the old one. Um, yes, yes, where is it? Uh, yes. Radar 1. Control system 0. A2. Rapid fire guns. Escort cruiser battery. Yes. So what do we get here? Aircraft facilities, float plane, catapult. What's that? Those, those are mine lane rails? No, 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 no. Here and here we'll go for. Okay, we kind of missing anything. We don't have any torpedoes or depth charges. D depth charges, depth uh, charges are kind of a destroyer thing for me, though. Yeah. So nearly put another uh, extra through the battle. All right, it's too expensive. But right, we'll just wait a little while and hopefully I don't have to. I was just saying. That, what that one about? Start with light cruisers. Okay, and uh, let's get ships. Are they already all selected? Why can't I do this one? Okay, we'll do you. Okay, you guys are going to split off. That's immediately been created. Okay. Get rid of you. January of 39. Alright, that's not too bad. These are significant upgrades, I believe. Free civilian factors, alright. This kind of makes me want to actually get dockyards. I don't think I've ever wanted to get dockyards my entire life. Oh, is there a refit thing here? No, but there is Dockyard Alpha plus 25%. Is there a refit thing? There's three Dockyards there. That's handy. Ooh, there's an Expand the San Marco. Is there a, is there a thing for the, for the... There is. There is. It's there. So don't, don't, don't be arsed researching it. We'll get a research bot later. Uh, December 39th. Yeah, get this one. That's great, though. Because I, I do like naval combat, but it's just a thing that I'm kind of a land guy, because, well, every war is kind of a land war, you know? Doesn't matter how big your navy is if you don't have a couple guys with guns, to, or, well, not guns, with firearms. There is actually a difference between firearms and guns, by the way. A gun is actually something that's too heavy to be carried by a, uh, by a man. Or even a team of men. Artillery gun, anti-aircraft gun, anti-tank gun. Firearm, then, is like an AK. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, I think it's back to military factories. Which one is more? Yeah, build them in uh, in states that that don't touch the coast, just in case I actually do want to build dockyards.
Which would be weird. I don't think I've ever built a dockyard in my entire life. Syria has joined the Cairo Axis. Good for the Syrians. Right, we do have... yeah. I hope these ships aren't going to come out like new, with like no, um, no experience. That would be annoying. But yes, we have an Air Force now. Or rather, we will soon. What, what do we got? Yeah, look at us. Fighters. 27 of them. Close air support. Let you train up. We also have a... We actually have a carrier. That's crazy! We have a carrier. Look at us. The big naval power. Retrofitting ships, getting an air force out. God, I love progression. Destruction. Five percent uh, dockyard output is going to be very nice. Now, minorities in Ticino, Swiss Confederation gets when the Italians in Switzerland. The Swiss dishonor us with their unwillingness to recognize our claims on lands they currently occupy. Many Italians clamor in Lugano, wanting to re, uh, reunify with us. A plebiscite will be held to, to determine their future, and we will do our best to make the stream of our thousands come true. Well, it's quite simple. I mean, like, even if you didn't give me the land with the people, just give me the people. Pronto. People I want. Pronto. Anything. Not gonna train just so that we can get as much artillery as possible. Ah, first, I think this is the first time I've ever ever retrofitted a ship, or even really done ever anything kind of shippy in a series, ever. I've done a lot of series. Series? Yeah. Weird word. I've done many campaigns. Yeah. That works better. Actually, you know, you know what, what, uh, what might be a good idea? Is to... Uh, is to see how many of these we can train and then convert... 11. Hey, that ain't bad. Pronto! You've already got a couple of... Uh, of mountaineers. Pronto all'azione. Pronto all'azione. Pronto all'azione. Ero. Il signore. Yeah, perfect. Hey, don't take up any extra man. That's fantastic. This should help. Ordini. Swiss Confederation refuses. The Swiss government has declined our proposal for a fair and democratic referendum on Italian inhabitants of Ticino. What should we do now? Should we forget the matter or threaten them with war? Mobilize our divisions on the border and threaten them with war. Political power minus 60 gains claim on Ticino. Swiss Confederation gets sent an Italian ultimatum. Now, oh, doc, I'm, I'm actually so excited to do naval stuff. Revive the Genoa Dockyard. Navy experience plus 25. Add the, the Genoa Dockyard, which grants capital ship production cost minus 5%. Does production cost affect retrofitting? Carrier production cost minus 5%. Screen ships, submarines, production cost minus 10%. Dockyard output plus 25%. After the Velt Creek and the ensuing civil conflict, we deactivated the Genoa Dockyards in order to help pay for our war debt. However, with, uh, with war with the South all but assured, we must reactivate the Dockyards to rebuild our great Navy. Serb is already getting divisions out. You'd love to see it. Albanians have divisions. Bulgarians have divisions. Huh. You're not backed by anyone, are you? But Oh, you have military access to us. The stubborn Swiss government has refused... How many men do you have? Nah, you're fine. 
has refused to comply with our demands with our troops mobilized on their border this is the perfect time is the perfect moment to move into the disputed territories and seize them international condemnation of our acts is a sore side effect of this however <laughs> lol Cross the border and seize the disputed territories. Political power minus 40. Swiss Confederation gets about Italian troops have entered the scene. I imagine this gives them the choice whether or not to declare war on us. Your move, bankers. Ah, oh, for f I knew they. Oh, I knew they'd do it. I knew the Germans would fucking do something. We'll pop a save. I knew they'd fucking do something. Upon hearing of our ongoing intervention in Switzerland, the German Empire has warned us to halt the offensive, pull back to our borders and call an end to hostilities unless we want to face German arms. We will not respond to their threats. Let's see what happens. And then Papa saved him. Okay, I did. You dare me? I double dog dare you to fight the Mediterranean Axis. Do you know how the... You know, as much as I'd like to, I don't think I want to fight the Reichspact yet. <sighs> now, if the Russians came, now that's something I'd consider. Plus, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't have to drag all the puppets in straight away. God damn it. No. What a fucking waste of physical power. Oh, I'll just go back to January 39th. Fantastic. Uh, I'll be back for it, though. Oh, God, I'll be back for it. That's nice, Art. And here we are. I was wondering if maybe uh, loading, reloading with a... Uh, make them... Maybe uh, accept, but no. Forget about this matter. Just present our territorial claims instead. Mm. I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. But what I am happy about is dockyards. Now, let's get onto the border with the Ottomans. Tripolitanian. Which which one of you is is in the? Neither of you are. Yeah, neither of you are. Hmm. Interesting. The Russians seem to be doing pretty well for themselves. Oh, you're in the. You're in it. Yeah, I think you need to get rid of the Georgians, my friend. Ordini. Why is that red? Wait, is there a naval designer? Of course! Of course there's a naval designer. I don't suppose there's a refit expert. What, wait, why can you... Why can you get a aircraft designers? Oh, it's for carriers, of course. of course. Anything for just production cost. Ooh. Cantieri Navali Odero. Naval research speed plus 10% cruiser production cost minus 15%. All right. Tell you what, we're going to see here if this if production cost effects retrofitting. 31st of January. Uh, it does not. That's a shame. Or maybe it only takes effect after. No, no, probably not. That's a shame. It's a real shame. Yes, it's time to uh, go find something else to do with our army. I don't want to invade Poland. I feel like that would be kind of encroaching on Germany's block, even though they're not even in, you know, Germany's block. 
just the location that's the problem. I think a better decision would be to. Oh, huh. I could have sworn I took that. Set owner ITA. There we are. For the life of me, I can't remember the name of, of these islands in Italian. I think it was the... You know, it was these islands that Italy had in our own timeline, I believe. Pronto, signore! Yeah, I got Formazione. a job there. There's no point of Pronto all'azione! You need maybe just Commandi. everyone form up here. We'll push the entire army into Anatolia from this direction. I'm sure there'll be no supply problems whatsoever. Pronto all'azione. Okay, Crimea's going after Ukraine. Are you, in the right fact, you are. Okay. You haven't been dragged in yet. This is interesting. Attento! Well, the Mountaineers will certainly help in Anatolia. Free military factories, where did that come from? I think we should get started on trucks. Or, yeah, trucks, trucks, trucks. How many do we have? We have 1,400 trucks. The Fiat 626. Formazione. Let's get started on this. Are we? No, good. Formazione. What the? Is it just you? Yeah. And you had the element of surprise. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the Ukrainians not absolutely crushing this. I'm going to look forward to seeing them do it, because this is just weird. Also, oh, uh, we, we finished our first retrofitted cruiser. Is that you? Which, which one of you is it? I made that one. Where did you come from, actually? It's probably you. No, it isn't. So which one of you is it, goddammit? Is it you? It is. And... Which one? Wait, wait. Sorry, which one was it? No, I'm confused. Was it this one? It was. And you are indeed. You do indeed do not have any, uh... Not have any experience. Can I get you retrofitted? Why didn't I do that beforehand? It's weird that I just ignored you. Retrofit all these lovely cruisers. Once we get the 25% extra dockyard... Oh man, the game is running crazy slow. Uh, I 
Formazione. I think I'll see when we're ready to uh, attack the Ottomans. Yeah, because the game is running quite slow. Alright, here we are. Now, there has been a couple of things that happened. Uh, nothing bad. Basically, in uh, this tree here, uh, Rescue the Northeast, I couldn't do it because I already had it. So I had to focus that autocomplete and focus that no check, focus that ignore prerequisites, all of that. And it gave us cores on uh, Istria, Trieste, and Fume. We actually didn't have cores on them. And there's dockyards here. Very, very nice dockyards. So we now have a full 15 line, which is fantastic. And we got the extra 25% uh, uh, dockyard out, uh, output from the... Uh, res or, uh, nearest at rescue. Revive the Genoa Dockyard. We've also done the focus. Um, Imperial ambitions. Italy may have its rightful king restored, but many areas of rightful Italian control have still weaseled. Oh, excuse me, away. We must retake these areas for the king. Two thousand units of Italian Carcano M38 are added to the na or is added to the national national stockpile. And the Imperial ambition, which grants recruitable population two percent, division recovery rate plus ten percent. What we're currently working on is we need more guns, army experience plus five, add better guns, which grants special or uh, special artillery, support artillery, production cost minus ten percent, uh, soft attack plus five percent, division defense on core territory minus five percent, breakthrough plus ten percent, more rifles, more artillery. If we want a powerful army, we must have guns to match. Wide skill production of, of infantry weaponry is already underway, and soon we will have enough rifles to. Switch. Fact, I think I've read that before, actually. And we now have another factory. I think we should start getting some support equipment. I haven't, apart from that, I haven't really been doing anything. Uh, that was about it. Also, the Ottomans are just rapidly collapsing, so we have to go from soon or else we won't be involved. Uh, now, yes, more military factories. A lot of our provinces are coastal because Italy isn't a very wide country. Attento. Uh, we have we I, I tried to train them all up, but the Ottomans just collapsing so fast that I can't. Amandi. We did get a lot of training done. So, I'm not a big fan of justify war goal. I'm kind of a big fan of just declaring wars because, you know, giving your enemy uh, time to react is not a good strategy. Allow Diplo. Uh, not back with enemy. No. Time to carve you up, big boy. Call you in. Call everyone in. Administration of Alaska, god damn it. Um, so, yeah, we're just about to finish up our next cruiser on the 11th. So, on the 11th of May. So, we'll be able to get to see uh, between the 15 dockyards and the 25% the uh, extra dockyard output, we'll be able to see just how uh, long it'll take for a an old cruiser to be retrofitted to uh, the modern standard, but of course we have been researching some new stuff, so we're going to have to retrofit them again. Yeah. I'm currently going just for, uh, just for, I think I've, I've gotten all the modules for, um, for the current time period. No, but we do need to get this on F38. Oh, it even has a description. Spend it. Does this one have a description? What are these? Carcano M91. The Carcano M91 is an Italian bolt-action carbine designed by Salvatore Carcano at the Turin Army Arsenal in 1891. The carbine fires 6.5 by 52 millimeter Carcano cartridges. The magazine system uses an N-block charger clips. I didn't know that. Which were originally developed by Ferdinand Manlecker. Hence why the gun is often referred to as the Manlecker Carcano. Popular during the Weltkrieg and the Civil Conflict, the M91 is a staple in the Italian Federation's military. Carcano M38. Carcano M38 is the 1938 variant of the Carcano family of infantry rifles adopted in 1938 and features 7.35 by 51 mm caliber, fixed sights, detachable folding ba uh, knife bayonet, and 20.9 inches barrel. I was I was I was thinking it was uh, quite a short rifle, which is good. Lightweight. MAB 38, also known as the Modelo 38, the MAB 38 is a submachine gun designed by Beretta. 
Brett is such a great company. The MAP-38 can be recognized by its machined steel receiver, fine craftsmanship, and perforated cooling jacket over the barrel. The gun fires 9x19mm parabellum at 600 rounds a minute, making it a deadly weapon in close quarters and urban combat. Fe uh, interestingly enough, the gun features two triggers for two firing modes. The fore trigger is for, is for semi-automatic fire, while the rear trigger is for fully automatic. You can get mul uh, multiple uh, magazines for it as well. I think the, I think the largest is a 50-round stick, which is very nice. Pronto, signore. Also, I, I uh, went to uh, fully motorized, shall we say, for the supply, which is good. It only takes a few trucks. Only 640 for the entire army. It's crazy. Is the... No, it's not yet, not yet the 11th of May. I'm very interested to see how long it will uh, take. Comandi! Si, signore! Avanzate! Don't aggro packed from Russia. I would gladly accept that. Si, signore. Attento! We can start expanding. Pronto! Avanzate! No, oh no! Why couldn't you have asked just a few days earlier? Actually, no, no, I, I want I want whatever buff they have to give me. I'll reload and I'll wait. Okay, one of our cardinals has died. Donato, Raffaele, Sparetti, Taza, an influential cardinal of the Holy Roman Catholic Church and a minister in the, of the Kingdom of Italy. He's not. Died today, according to his will, he will be buried in the parish church of Montefranco, where he had been, had been born. He rests in heaven now. Yeah, he's not. He's not here. Hey, hey, over 100 factors. Here we are. It's actually crazy that if we're at war, we just, we just can't say yes. Like, we, we could be at war with the smallest power. Irish flirting with Italian businesses. We've received news today that the Irish are doing their best to promote a newly modernized Dublin, shithole, as a prospective center of trade and, uh, and trade and finance. Several of our leading industrial companies have been contacted and it has been suggested that we encourage them to set up shop in the Irish capital. Again, Dublin's a shithole. We will naturally reap some of the profits of this arrangement, which could be quite profitable in the long run. Of course, it will be even more beneficial for the Irish. We can both make money. It can't hurt, can it? Political power minus 25 add Irish profits, which grants consumer goods factories minus 2.5%. Factory output plus 2.5%. Why wouldn't I do this? And they'll also like us a bit more. We'll be conquering them anyway. Uh, unfortunate for them. But, um, yeah, Pat O'Donnell, yeah. Come see your national spirits. Irish zinc industry. Gaelic, like the national language, very good. Can I see your focus ring? Oh, I can. Oh, these focuses look sad. <laughs> look, it's the, it's the brain one. <laughs> that appears in a few places, I think, in this mod. Yeah, they're just walking away. I think this one is a. Uh... Which one is it? Oh no, it's this one. It is, yeah. Yeah, you got 10% of the rule pop. Yeah. The more extreme you are, the more pop you get, and the more stability you get as well. Now, uh, yes, allow to go. Call in the homies. Formazione. Sì, signore. What's this? That's weird. What happened there? Look at all that out my face. Fall of Const Constantinople. Pronto, the Turks have been driven out. Ordini. No, oh, it's just coming up to the 11th of May. Oh, it already finished? What happened? May, June. Alright, yeah, it's not taking very long at all. That's good. Comandi. Avanzate! Attento! Signore, 
Attento! Yes, I'll accept the Russian one. Attento! Si, sí, signore! Active sonar, very nice. Just not enough research slots. Not even close to enough. Pronto all'azione. So I'll let you work away with that. Yeah, that's all fine. We should be mobilizing quite a lot of men. Yeah. Italian militarism, the imperial ambition. Limited conscription. We'll also be getting the Italian liberation call later on, so we are going to get Pronto, quite signore. a lot of men. Where you need to be. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry it up. I just tell you what. Tell you what. Here's Stop defensive. Realign. Just don't have enough men. No, I think so. Just go. Virtual fitting doesn't cost any resources. That's interesting. Ordini. Signore. Let me quickly check something. So, occupied puppets. Okay. Why is Austria still occupied? That's interesting. How did the Serbians get out of it so fast? So you're an occupied puppet. What do you give me? Extra trade. What about factories? I don't care about trade. I care about factories. I want your factories. Your industry. Like, uh... So yeah, go in here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. But I can't get it. Si, signore! Casualties. 2,000 fire and fire faction, that's fantastic. These mountaineers certainly are helping. And we're working through them nicely. Called the HDP. Well, what was that? NDP. Sorry, yeah. Imagine that means like NDP. 
Rey is, is king in Italian, is it not? I know it's in Spanish as well, but their Latin language. Viva il Rey, that kind of stuff. NDP, but... P, could P be Patria? Would it be like Ship of the Fatherland kind of thing? Ship of the Motherland, Ship of the Nation, that kind of thing? Maybe, who knows? Formazione. I'll look it up after. Formazione. Ah, <laughs> German volunteers. Oh, you're not collapsing. Is that you? You're gone? Oh, yeah, that is you. Another level. There we are. Overwhelming firepower calling on all available support. Units to give overwhelming firepower can greatly soften up a target or better yet seriously ruin, ruin an attacker's day. Russian strategy the Don best be like. Line artillery, soft attack plus 10%, enables tactic overwhelming fire coordination plus 5. Pronto all'azione. Where does that go? Pronto, signore. These are some hideous borders. Are you sure you're still... Yeah, you're out of it. You, you still are at war. How did you... Yeah. Oh, what are, what are we missing? Oh, but you're just deciding now to give me artillery? Are we short of artillery? Oh, sugar, we actually are. Good thing we just finished the thing that reduces the production cost of artillery then. Hmm, that's really good. Well, I think we need to get this. Resource speed is always nice. The Academy of Science. At Academy of Science, which grants resource speed plus 3%, it is time to establish the research arm of the government, one that can look into new ways to update both the military and our nation's security in this new era of technology. Attento! Oh yeah, you're nearly gone. Yeah, it's that rough terrain and I'm not be being able to repair any of it either. Because it's all under the control of the Bulgarians. You should be able to help your allies with uh, repairing stuff. the wind. Casualties. 6,000. That's fantastic. No point getting that, because it's out of date. Alright. Now, the Greeks. Great acquisitions for you, my friend. I think I'll probably give you these islands back as well. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like that they changed this. Uh, yeah, I'll just take the rest. And I'll, I'll give Audrin to the Bulgarians. Adrianople. So maybe just maybe just give me these islands. Yeah, these are the Peloponnese, I believe, aren't they? I believe they, I believe they are. No, no, the Peloponnese is this one. These are the Dodecanese. Yeah, yeah, Dodecanese. Huh? So much research. I'd actually be able to afford a logistics company. Maybe not then. Oh, yes we can. Oh, 
Oh, the Armenians are still kicking. Expanding. Mm, you're weak. How long? How long does this focus take? Forty-two days. All right. Hmm. All right. I tell you what. This is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the uh, end the episode here because I'm I'm finding my computer's taking longer and longer to, up to upload videos. It's actually crazy. Um, but as you can see, we have quite a large focus tray. We got to finish, you know, these say four focuses. Oh, that, that's nice. Let's go power the end there. We got to finish uh, no three. Uh, yeah, four focuses. We got to finish these four focuses. We have got to, you know, finish off the military tree. We've got to finish the air tree, the navy tree. We've got to finish the monarchist thing. Uh, we got to finish the NI thing, and if we want to do this as well, I do actually intend on doing this, because it kind of fits. Um, we are, we're, these 49 day focuses aren't going to cut us. Now, what I'm going to do is, off camera, I'm going to count up uh, how long all of these focuses will take, and if it's something ridiculous, what I'm going to start doing is, every time I finish a 49 day focus, I'm immediately going to focus on autocomplete another 49 day focus, just to, you know, kind of speed things along. Uh... Or something like that. I shall see you next episode where we shall have more conquest and more build up. Oh, and I'm actually super looking forward to uh, continuing our naval build up. Yeah. <laughs> Glory to Italy.